You know, tonight there is a lot of drama building over a proposed Hollywood land for Middletown. Yeah, the proposed billion, billion dollar development includes hotels, an amusement park, apartments, restaurants, and a Hollywood soundstage. We are told talks have been underway for more than a year. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller was there tonight when residents gave their first reviews. It's the location of Middletown. The developers say will make this mega project work. That's because this place is three hour driving distance from several major cities and 18 million people, but not everyone who lives here is on board. High speed and heavy traffic on Main Street. It's like a drag strip down there. One by one, residents of Middletown approach city council members with their concerns about a proposed Hollywood land facility. This project has the unintended potential to cause irreparable damage to the historic neighborhood, including Forest Hills. The first of its kind in the world, according to developers, Main Street Community Capital. It is a super regional film production and entertainment zone. The project is huge, spanning two blocks in downtown Middletown near the Miami River. It has three hotels, an indoor amusement park, shopping, and a motion picture soundstage. All of that and not a penny of the cost from the taxpayer. Citizens will not be on the hook for any of it and there'll be no local taxes at all used for this project. Sounds amazing, right? But what's the catch? The developer and the city manager says there are none. If you don't trust it, if you don't believe in it, but more than anything you can't trust, you don't believe, and you can't vet me because I'm putting my reputation on the line for this. Some business owners favor the plan, but stakeholders at tonight's meeting who oppose say it feels rushed and gives them deja vu. There's the city center mall, the Sorg Opera House, and the Manchester Inn. It sounds just a little too good to be true. The city council will vote on this on October 21st. If it's approved, I asked the city what happens if this doesn't work. They say that that $7 million in federal funds is protected legally, so it shouldn't be a problem. For now, reporting in Middletown, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.